Hello everyone, in this particular lecture, we are going to create our first model in dbt cloud. So first of all, let me show you the name of my project. The name of my project is dbt underscore snowflake. You can change this name. Uh, so if you want to change this name, go here in the profile setting or in the account setting. I think in the account setting, you can change it from here. dbt underscore snowflake edit you can change the name from here and then you can save it okay the second important thing is go to the profile setting and here check the credentials uh, this is the snowflake so we are connecting with snowflake these are the snowflake credentials and the schema name is this one so when you are going to execute your models in in dbt cloud uh, this schema will be created in Snowflake and underneath this schema uh, so either table will be created or view will be created whatever you're going to define in the dbt that will be created in, in Snowflake okay these are the credentials uh, for uh, for your account okay now notification setting uh, these are some optional settings that you can check let me go to the profile okay linked account so i have connected to github account and the user is this one and these are my personal information okay now fine now i will go to the develop section here you're going to get the model folder underneath this folder you will get the example folder so by default you're going to get two models so so when you're going to create a dbt cloud account uh, you're going to get these two models by default let me just open this model okay so look and in the second model what we are doing we are referring the first model this model okay now what i will do i will create a new model from scratch so look this is change branch this is read only so i cannot create a new model okay so i have to create a new branch or if there is already a branch created so i'm going to change it since i've already created a new branch i'm not going to create a new branch from here so i will just switch it to my already created branch check out so i'm going to check out this okay now i can create a new model look uh, now I'll be able to create a new model. So I want to create a new model in the model folder, not in the example folder. Go create file and let's say product underscore sales dot SQL is going to be my name. Okay. Now this has been created. Let me just open it and let me just type something. Okay, fine. So next what I will do, I have this table called product. Let me just query this table in Snowflake. Select star from product and uh, database name is dbt underscore db uh, uh, schema name is prod. And let me just query this top 10. This is going to give me the top 10 products. Okay, now I have to change it. Uh, I have to do it like this city states some national sales comma some global sales group by one and two and i'm going to use the common table expression with product sales as this let me just confirm the syntax from here okay with okay fine and this select star from product sales Just copy this and paste here in my new 
here I have to provide the schema name prod dot uh, product save this and let's preview the result so in order to preview the result query result you're going to click preview this is going to display the result of your query okay now it is taking some time but it will display it. look city state wise city and state wise uh, national sales and global sales now um, uh, the the transformation has been created the next step is to execute this model and the name of model is product underscore sales dot sql now in order to execute this okay you so the changes have been done let me just commit in sync so what will happen commit whatever the change you are going to do in in the dbt cloud environment it is going to be reflected in my uh, github repository okay now i will execute my model so in order to execute the model you're going to uh, write this command dbt run dash dash select and the name of model model name is product underscore sales dot sql enter it is executing look it has successfully been executed now let me check the logs and let me just extract the query that has been created look this query has been created and if you see here let me just paste here look a view has been created let me just check refresh my database and let me check if the view has been created or not uh, dbt look the schema has been created with this name which I have already shown you that this schema will be created with this name schema will be created and the name of view is product underscore sales look product underscore sales is the name of my view select star let me just query this uh, view now let me just query it and run it because i have to change the schema name as well okay now query it and it is going to display me the result okay look now one more important thing look here i haven't defined anything i haven't defined any configuration block so by default if you are not going to define anything in your model it will it will create a view like here it has created a view now let me just copy paste this block uh, configuration block and let me just paste here now what will happen config materialized equals to table now table will be created okay save it and now you're going to see table will be created dbt run dash dash select and the name of my sales dot sql run look i have to show you what will happen let me just copy this transient table the table has been created with this name uh, let me just refresh it let me check if table has been created or not schema name is this view okay let me refresh it uh, look table has been created product underscore sales okay So first it is going to drop the view which is already there with this name and then it is going to create a table name okay look 
if you look at the logs here you're going to you can see that it will drop the already existing view let me just show you where it is happening look drop view if exist dbt uh, dot product sales okay uh, so this is your first transformation in in dbt cloud now i'm going to do this commit and sync so this is going to do the changes in my uh, github repository as well and look what it's this compile this compile is going to give me the executable sql okay now you can see the sql okay this is your sql the preview is going to show me the result and look result and this lineage so this lineage is going to give me the overall flow of your transformation okay a graphical representation of your transformation right now i have only this one product underscore sales table if you look at the lineage of this code this transformation you can see that i have two transformations uh, in my second transformation what I am doing I am calling the first transformation so that is why it is showing me the dependency okay look this workflow this transformation flow so this is the product dot uh, product underscore sales dot SQL transformation so hope you understood the concept thank you so much and have a great learning